for some reason. You're, you're using your common sense and good judgment. X. Uh, uh, John Moore. Will you spell both of those, please? Yes, J O H N. M O O R E. Okay, and John, what's your title here with the city? I'm the chairman of the board of trustees, okay. and we're the governing board of the town of Niobrara. We were concerned with our basic infrastructure, our sewer system being in danger, our water wells sit down in the river bottom, and we're concerned with uh, those being inundated or even totally wiped out. Secondly, we have an elementary school that sits right on the border or very near where the water is going to come up to, and we're worried about it getting there. The economic well-being of the whole town because we're a tourist town and we totally depend on our state park and our tourists coming to use the river and they're now telling us our highways are all going to be closed in and out of town. So there'll be no access in and out of town except a lone gravel road just to the south of town. Without tourists coming here, who's going to buy our food and water and groceries and gasoline and everything that keeps our town going. We're a pretty small town of only 300 people, so that is our sole industry here, is tourism. So we totally count on travelers going through. We have this scenic Highway 12 that is used quite a bit. And like I said, our state park, which is a wonderful state park, is used heavily. And uh, so yeah, we count on tourism 100% in this town. The old town was right here where our golf course is, which is directly north of the school. The golf course is now where the old town was and in the middle 70s they moved it to the top of the hill just to the south here. So that's what the Corps engineers is predicting high water till December but there's others that are saying it may be a year so 